Man, is Nintendo a weird company and one hard to predict and follow because in a week where many eyeballs are on the potential for some kind of new major hardware announcement, aka what Nintendo has told us that they will be revealing in this fiscal year, being the Switch 2, uh, they took to the internet today to announce, well, it's what that mystery FCC device was, no doubt. You might remember videos on the channel discussing what is this new mystery device that Nintendo has submitted to the FCC that has a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi receiver and mysteriously a 24 gigahertz wireless radar type of sensor with embargo dates around it. What is this? Well, we learned today that Nintendo Alormo is a thing. This is a brand new alarm clock from Nintendo. So a new official hardware announcement from Nintendo in the month of October in 2024. Yet it's almost like they're doing this for fun, knowing that we are all waiting for the big reveal of the hardware we actually want to see. But I want to take a look at this trailer and website to get detail the price point around it, how you can pick one up if you are interested in it, and also just talk about if this sways the likelihood in one direction or another if Nintendo could reveal their major next-gen console this month, because I personally don't think it does, but I'm seeing some opinions online that are contrary to that, so we'll get on the same page with everything. Before we do, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on your bell notification to join Summer Nation if you're new here. And we're going to first start off by taking a look at this um, trailer together because, yeah, this is what we've all been waiting for. This Nintendo's Nintendo big uh, additional hardware released to the market, which is the Nintendo Sound Alormo. Ordinary. Now, right out of the gate, um, it's very it's clear like that if there was any the doubt on if this was going to be something like the FCC thing that it is because it's going to show us in a second how it tracks your movement while you're sleeping and you can see some of your sleep data. Um, that's exactly what that 24 gigahertz sensor was. So we did kind of get a look at this ahead of time. This wouldn't be a terrible thing to own as a Nintendo fan. Uh, one, if, you're, if your phone couldn't do this almost exact same thing, but more than that, if it wasn't the price point that it was, which is what we're going to get to in a minute. But, you know, I'm a Nintendo collector. I'm an idiot for stuff like this. I'll probably pick it up just for my collection, but... I can't necessarily see myself actually using this as my alarm clock. So the idea here is, is that as you wake up, it's going to respond to you moving and give you coin sounds or Splatoon sounds. Uh, and then the longer you ultimately, I guess, stay asleep, the alarm's going to get more aggressive. So that's what we're talking about here. Um, <laughs> now, Oatmeal Dome has actually gone through and shared some additional data online. So... Apparently, right now, we know of five different types of alarm per game. So we have five games outlined in this trailer. Breath of the Wild, uh, why it's not Tears of the Kingdom, I don't know. That's actually kind of a, you know, you should have both. You should have a Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. But anyway, initially there's five. There's going to be two more later, but there's actually three, uh, five different alarm styles for each game. So you have some different customization options and stuff here. Um, this is a full, they'll show it, I think, kind of in a minute. We're going to skip forward just a little bit in this trailer. Yeah, there, this is that 24 gigahertz sensor that we talked about from the, you know, the FCC filings. And then we did talk about how Nintendo patented this technology way back in the day as well. Um, so it looks like they just finally decided to bring it to market. Um, why they're choosing now when we're at the tail end of the Switch's life cycle and there's a lot of eyeballs on them revealing new hardware, I don't know. But when you actually get up from bed, you're basically winning the mini the video game if you will and then if you stay longer in bed if you've been sleeping through your alarm clock for 20 minutes for some reason you're going to get a very aggressive bowser uh type of music to try to wake you up more aggressively i guess is the idea behind it now you could ask why is nintendo releasing this and it is a very silly product i think on its surface but it reminds you how family focused they are sometimes because this is clearly well, like I said, I'm going to pick it up for my Nintendo collection. No shade if you want to use this as your main alarm clock like every single day. Like, I'm a diehard Nintendo fan. But this is clearly something that's marketed more towards the younger demographic that may not have a smartphone to wake them up and you want to have, like, a fun way to wake up and start your school day. You know, like, that's obviously kind of who this is being more targeted at. Um, although the price point, I would argue, does not align with that that much. But, you know, obviously parents shopping time during the holiday season for Christmas coming up. Uh, this might be on some parents list to get for their kids. It might be on your list to get for yourself. I do like this dial at the top. I think that that's actually at least cool. Um, kind of the way you can scroll through all the different settings. 
You can get more Connect to the internet and you're going to get additional games for this uh, clock as time goes on. So the alarm function, it's a clock that's going to receive DLC, essentially, essentially from Nintendo. Such as now, sleepy sounds, in terms of, uh, I guess, I guess this is kind of nice too. You can have like relaxing sounds to fall asleep to. Um, they show in in just a minute here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's this one right here. This at least shows you some useful information if you're trying to track your sleep. Like, are you waking up just an insane amount of times throughout the night? You're going to be able to see that in the alarm clock. So as somebody who actually uses an Apple Watch and that kind of thing can work, I actually don't like to sleep with my watch on, so I don't pay attention to any of my sleeping data from the Apple Watch. So that is actually kind of a cool feature because you're going to be able to just enjoy, you know, your sleep without anything on your wrist, but still tell if you've been waking up throughout the, the night. Big notable thing, you have to be you have to be a Switch Online member to purchase this or live in New York and you can, of course, get it from there. Uh, so that's the announcement that Nintendo hit this week in the week where many fans were wondering if they'll get new hardware. Uh, we have an alarm clock to celebrate, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and this is the price point, and this is what we got to spend a little bit of time on because it is $99.99 and you need to be a Nintendo Switch Online member. Now, I don't think anybody's going to pay for this clock to begin with at a $99 price point and not be an NSO member. Like, it's clearly more of a premium device. Um, just interesting that we looked at the dimensions and I had a channel linked that actually basically was able to figure out roughly the dimensions of what was submitted to the FCC and that, it, you know, it didn't have a battery, or at least it was speculated that it didn't have a battery. battery. It would need to be plugged in via USB-C. You can see all of that stuff here. The sensors line up with exactly what was being filed. So there's no mystery that maybe there was some kind of a Switch 2 accessory that was a camera. Um, that's not a thing. Uh, so, I mean, it's obviously this. I think you can more or less take this as confirmation that this is what that FCC device was. Um, so you just kind of have on this website just a big outline of all the different features that this clock does. And, you know, like I mentioned, initially, it's just very limited. It's going to be five games. You're going to get um, Animal Crossing and Mario Kart via DLC that's being, you know, and that's been confirmed so far. I'm willing to bet you're just going to wake up to like random announcements one day where Nintendo says, uh, hey, we have a new game that's now supported in our Alormo clock. Um, you have a nice diagram here, kind of a little bit more of what you're getting here. So the confirm button and the dial that you're going to be able to scroll through. You have notification, a back button, the motion sensor built into the front, a brightness sensor. So probably how bright the display is based off the light in your room. And it's a 2.8 inch LCD screen is what you're looking at on there. So a relatively small screen, it's going to be a pretty compact device. Um, what bed sizes are compatible so twin to king size beds if you're wondering how far the sensor i guess can go basically uh who has anything larger than a king size bed i don't know but you're going to be covered with that um so yeah that's what we learned about today from nintendo now i do want to spend just a tiny bit of time on if this like you know kills any chance for the possibility of a switch 2 reveal uh this month well it, this week seems maybe a little bit less likely now i mean i honestly don't think we're going to learn about like the announcement tonight to you know say there's going to be a switch 2 trailer tomorrow but i don't think that this takes october off the table the week after super mario party jamboree i still think is highly likely uh it is not guaranteed nintendo's a weird company we're talking about an alarm clock when everybody's waiting for a new hardware reveal that they themselves said they were going to do within this fiscal year. And you could say, well, you know what? Automatically, that means within this fiscal year, they're gonna wait until the tail end of March to reveal this thing. And in 2025, which is when the fiscal year ends. And it's like, why Nintendo would come out logically and announce in the beginning of May of 2024 that they're gonna do it within this fiscal year and then turn around and wait until almost a full year later in March of the following year, literally at the tail end of the time frame that they gave themselves, makes zero sense to me, but we are talking about an alarm clock today, so I wanna reiterate that. Everybody online, Necro Felipe, uh, PH Brazil, still very much saying that they are expecting a 2024 reveal, that this doesn't disqualify that, and I don't think it does either. That's the mindset I'm in, but I'm also not putting any hopes and expectations into Nintendo revealing it because uh, we've been proved wrong by them many times. They like to do things in a very specific way. They cleared out Nintendo, uh, they cleared out their presentations rather in September for legitimately no reason from what we can tell. Uh, and then we have like a random alarm clock hardware announcement 
in the month that everybody's expecting them to maybe drop the first look at their new console. So let me know in the comments down below, are you interested in the Nintendo Alormo at a $99 price point with the Nintendo Switch Online membership? If you live in New York, are you gonna pick up this thing right away? Uh, is this a day one purchase for you? Is this kind of like a, what are you doing Nintendo type of moment? Um, or you just like me and you know, obviously like you don't need this thing, but you probably want it for your collection because that's kind of where I'm at on it. So. Let me know all that in the comments down below. Let me know if you think the Switch 2 is still on the table for maybe a first look trailer coming up here in the near future. So make sure you share all your thoughts and feelings in the comments down below before you leave, regardless if we agree or disagree. Also make sure you like, subscribe, ring your notification bell. And with that, I've been Sunbro, you've been Nation. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.